when I learned about this project, I read it in the um, Greenwich Time, and it was so intriguing to me because I was born and raised here in Greenwich, um, but I have a fond love for Mora de Santis. My parents were born there and emigrated here in 1975, um, and I visited every summer since, sometimes twice a year even. So to find out that there's this connection between Mora and Greenwich really just gave me such a sense of belonging. Um, and that's what really uh, sparked my interest in getting involved in this whole project. Looking back, uh, there's a lot of, uh, of items to be proud of in my family history, um, of the work ethic, of the uh, passion and also the dedication to the, the values and principles that not just were a part of our family but also were um, helped brought to light and, and made better through the customs and culture of the United States. I'm so happy and honored that I can say that I am a part of that. I would be a completely different person if I didn't have these morals and traditions that my parents have both taught me. I, I feel very proud. Uh, and you know, I, I, I run into a lot of different groups of people. I think Italians feel special for some reason or other. We're no different than anybody else. The legacy of, of hard work, uh, perseverance, uh, and the, the willingness to, to rise above that, that hardship that they once had, to know that there's an opportunity if you work, work at it and get rewarded for it. Um, it's something that I am uh, very proud to have inherited, but also to potentially continue those same values on. Both our families came from the southern part of Italy, which is considered peasant and uneducated. But these are good people, hardworking people, people who give you the shirt off their back. And one thing about the Italian, they're big-hearted people. They all stuck together, they helped one another. Every time I look down the street, there's an Italian restaurant. Every time I look down the street, I look at some cement work or plaster work or some kind of work that had to do with labor and results. And I know that it was done by a couple of Italian guys. If you look at Greenwich, so many of these houses, so many of these buildings in town were built up by these, uh, these people. And I can look at them and I can say, well, my grandfather helped build that and my uncles are still doing that and you know, I'm working for my uncle, so we're all part of it. And I think it's, uh, it's just something to be certainly proud of. Yeah, it's great to be an Italian. Over the years, I really like started to understand more about being Italian and through my grandparents' stories and etc. And I started to really feel like I should be proud of it because before, it's not like I wasn't proud of it, I was scared to be proud of it. I know my grandparents were very, very proud to be residents of Greenwich. As, and as well as Rose, every time that name was spoken, the town of Rose, it was spoken with such pride and tenderness. So I think there was that connection and so many people from that little town settled here in this area. And even though there was the fondness for that, they really embraced um, their new town and country and were very proud to be Americans. I run into some people who um, were adopted and they really don't know what their heritage is and I feel I think back how I would feel not knowing what my heritage was it'd be you know something like it would be missing from me all my life but and I feel sorry for those people who, who didn't have that connection and I think uh, for, for the most part they feel kind of lost and they, you know they make the best of it but they don't have anything to really know, and a lot of them don't really know what their nationality is. I took a lot from my grandmother, because my grandmother was, was really um, my, my pillar, let's say. She taught me a lot. Uh, she gave me riddles that she probably learned from her parents that I passed on to my, to my kids. That's what makes us Morese, that's what makes us Italian, and we keep in Keep in having the tradition like the way we used to do in Italy, make a homemade sauce, homemade sausage, 
homemade pasta. I used to make every week. I used to make a homemade bread. Um, I keep the tradition, and I hope my kids will do the same thing. And we always keep up the tradition. Because we, my parents always made a homemade wine. I had the figs, uh, make sure that the figs are covered around this time, so in the winter time uh, they don't die, so that you would always have them in the springtime. And also making sausage and making sauce. In fact, we still make, my wife and I, we still make sauce every uh, August. So the tradition to me is very important, and everybody who knows me knows that that's correct. Because if you don't have tradition, um, then what do you have? If you don't have where you're from, then what do you have? You, you can make your own, but I mean, where you're from, where your family's from, is what created America to begin with, right? All these different cultures were the melting pot because of where we all came from. So if we don't learn about it and we don't continue all those different traditions, then we're just being. Learning to grow up and be good citizens learning to be, have good family values, and uh, learning to get along in this great country of ours. That's what I feel uh, my Italian heritage uh, has, has brought to me through my parents and my grandparents. So we try to tell the kids uh, about their ancestry, and we, you know, we show them pictures, and they know, uh, just try to keep the whole family together. But I, I feel proud to be uh an Italian heritage, but I think I'm, I'm, I'm more proud to be an American uh, with Italian uh, heritage. And I have to say I'm very proud to have, you know, be an American, Italian-American from the, the families from Calabria and, and Morta. Um, very proud to be raised in an Italian home. Before my father passed away, he said, you know, this is uh, too bad everybody doesn't know about Italy. He says, second, third generation kids aren't learning much. So I wrote an article sharing the rich history of Italy. And it's a, it was in the Greenwich Time, October 4th, 2004. And uh, every once in a while I look at that, I said, you know, I miss my father. You know? you know, when my grandfather was spoken to in Italian, he only responded in English because he was very proud that his family uh, settled in this new land. One year, this, I gave an idea. We made, we can our tomatoes. And my daughter, since they were three years old, used to come and help us. So one year we did them without them because they were in college. My middle daughter, she started crying and said, Dad, this is a family tradition, she said to me. We got to do them again. And then I had to go buy a few more boxes of tomatoes and we had to redo them because she wanted to be there and help put the salt in the jar, the basil and the tomatoes. But she started crying like a little baby and said, Dad, this is a family tradition, so we got to do tomatoes again. Okay, Annalisa, we did them again. A presto is something, it's like saying goodbye, but it's like, I'll see you soon. It's not goodbye, because I know I'm gonna see you again, and if I don't, we're gonna act like we're gonna see each other again, because saying goodbye is heartbreaking. That's the only mistake I did. I never, uh, I didn't teach my daughters to speak Italian. The oldest one understands it, but they're, they're, well, that's the only mistake I should have thought about to speak Italian. But. A presto.